got another two over three episode. I've got Peter Duke with me for all the way from Los Angeles in California. Um, we've got three images from the same photographer that I found on Flickr and I'm springing them on Peter. Uh, three images, five minute clock, four minute bell to kind of tell us to get a bit of a wriggle on. I've just sent the link to, to Pete and I'm going to start the clock and throw it to Pete now. Okay, Pete, and we've got three images by Kat Katya Cheva. Is it Ch Katya Cheva. <laughs> Chalshiva from Plovdiv in Bulgaria. And uh, that'll be a first. I don't think I've done anybody from Bulga Bulgaria before. And uh, this first one, sign. And what do you think of this one? You know, I, it's, it's a, 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 a fantastic piece of architecture is what I think at first. I love the way that it, uh, it starts at the bottom with this kind of, it's, it, it kind of looks like a mountain that, that grows up and then it, it turns into this kind of organic tree-like thing with the with the arms almost becoming limbs, and uh, and then I notice the uh, you know the, immediately you notice the I don't know if that's henna across the hand or if that's some kind of processing that's gone on in the picture, and I see the scratches on the girl's arm and I wonder what the story is if it is a, I assume it's a girl it could have been an older person but it looks like it's a um, a young younger person with some kind of there's some kind of texture thrown on top of it what a what a great description i like your description of uh of this organic uh growth uh if, if you like tree uh, like it it does it that really does uh strike a chord with me um i, I get very much the same impression i also like the, the kind of balance with the negative space um and the inky blackness on the left and the right and that that strong diagonal the image gives, which is reinforced by that, by her left arm, over the top of the other one. Not sure. I think it is post processing, or um, but henna could be equally. I guess one of the problem the, the the image that Peter and I are looking at at the moment it's a, it's a little bit on the small side, but um, and we'll see what we can do in the video. Hey, <laughs> okay, let's go to the second one. And the second one, escape. And what do you think of this one? I I. It... I don't know if escape is what I feel. I, I, I kind of feel like it's, it's a kind of, a, a, what's the word that I'm looking for? It's a parism. <laughs> it's a, it's a, a spontaneous kind of uh, uh, a swoon is, uh, is how it feels to me. It's like she's grabbing her side and her other hand is falling down and her head is thrown back and the, the dress is... I get a sense of she's she's letting go, like a cathartic moment. She's just letting go of something. Well, I think a parisum is kind of letting go, but um, but yes, uh, I I like it a lot. I think it's got a lot of it's got a lot of feeling and emotion. I th I think it's hard to look at this photograph without uh, having some kind of uh, sympathetic uh, uh, idea, emotional response to it. Yeah, yeah. I I I. I, I, I I do like the unusual perspective, kind of looking down at her. It's uh, it's uh, also the tension with her head uh, kind of uh, moving out of frame. There, you get a, almost a sense of that downward um, and leftward um, a movement in a kind of a down diagonal. That um, just looking at this because of the way it's been framed and composed. Um, I also like the muted light and and colour. I think is is pleasing, but also as you follow your eye down that extended arm, the, the, and, and the the way the light just ever so gently drops off, and yet we can still pick out the necessary detail. We 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 we, we kind of need to 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 fully explore this image. Yep. Um, great image. Okay, number three, de, 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 de. de. What do you think of this one? Or or maybe de, um, <laughs> I. That 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 must be the sound that she's thinking. Um, ding. Yeah, I, I architecturally again. I think that this uh, this person, this photographer, has got great composition. I love the negative space on the left and the way that the hand again zigzags up to the elbow, across the arm, and up to this woman's face. There's a lot yes. of interest because she's covering half of her face, and uh, there's uh, uh, a lot of uh, passion behind that eye and that mouth um, that I that I that, that touches me. 
I, th I think it's also interesting you're talking about balance in the negative space. That that mark on the wall behind her almost looks like, um, and you know, the darker area there that's kind of mushrooming out from where from where her upper arm is. I was just trying to imagine then that not being there and whether it would affect the balance of the image. And I, I think perhaps it, it, it actually assists balance in, in balancing the image, which I think is neat. I also like the kind of detail we can get, the detail we can get in that luxurious, luxuriously red um, uh, dress that she's wearing. And, and uh, it goes very nicely with those red lips, I, I, I guess. But... I think the point you made earlier in terms of her composition and and and, and the way it's been framed, we've got both hands are, are running out of, of frame and, and it looks strategically positioned that way in terms of very, in, very intentional. It's been, uh, I get a, a, a definite sign of intent. And, and then it raises questions as to what does this pose mean? What, what does death mean, I guess? Fascinating image. I, I really like it. Okay, let's go to the top and try to score it because we're not doing very well at uh, keeping to time, Pete. Uh, what are you going to give the first one? Well, if you if you if you didn't always pick such great photographs, it would be it would be easier to run through them. You, you know what? Um, I I I love this photographer's work, and the thing that I like the most about it is that these pictures are crafted. And uh, and there there are no accidents it's in these there. photographs. I'm gonna give the I'm gonna give this a five, and uh, I think that that's gonna be a trend. Yes, 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 very much so for me. Uh, I think that definitely a five. What are you gonna give the second one? Escape. I, I, again, I, I, it's sublime. I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a five. I mean, I I could see these pictures hanging on walls everywhere. Yes, yes, me too. Five for me. And the third one. The third day. Uh, uh, third one in a row. I, you know, I, I love, I love this work. There are no accidents, and uh, uh, I think I love that as much as I love the the work itself. Well, there you have it. Uh, and five for me. There you have it, Katya. Uh, the only justice I can't do is to the pronunciation of your name, uh, Chal Chalsheva from Plodiv in Bulgaria. Look, thank you so much for sharing these three wonderful images with us both on Flickr. Music.